good morning class 7 now today's topic is from metallic nitrates metallic nitrates of sodium and potassium uh, liberate oxygen on heating potassium nitrate melts on heating and at a uh, at a slightly higher temperature it decomposes to give off bubbles of oxygen and it forms potassium nitrate that solidifies by cooling sodium nitrates produce oxygen in a similar reaction okay now what are the properties of oxygen properties of oxygen it is colorless it is tasteless and it is odorless we uh, don't see colorful oxygen neither we taste neither we have the smell it is heavier slightly heavier than air it is more soluble in water than in nitrogen it is neutral in uh, litmus paper it liquefies liquidifies liquefies at minus 183 degree centigrade and uh solidify solid solidifies at minus 218 degree centigrade oxygen have other properties it is highly reactive it reacts with metals and non metals to form oxides such reactions are called oxidation reaction now how what are the reactions with metals oxygen when it's react um, uh, reacts with most of the metals um, for example sodium oxygen it will uh, sodium and oxygen combines to sodium oxide calcium and oxide combines to calcium oxide uh, magnesium and oxide may, uh, becomes magnesium oxide potassium plus oxide becomes potassium oxide oxygen oxygen when it come in contacts with non metals they are also it reacts with most of the non metals like carbon oxygen oxygen carbon dioxide sulfur oxygen sulfur dioxide uh, phosphorus oxygen becomes phosphorus oxide oxidation reaction are of two types what are they they are rapid oxidation and slow oxidation now what is rapid oxidation rapid oxidation is an oxidation in which oxygen uh, reacts very quickly with the substance for instance the release of heat and light energy is called rapid oxi um, oxidation and it is also known as combust combust uh, combustion that okay. combustion for example wood coal kerosene Uh, LPG candle they undergo rapid oxidation because as soon as we fire it it uh, fires out and start releasing carbon dioxide water vapor and energy fuel plus oxygen gives carbon dioxide plus water vapor plus heat and light wood plus oxygen gives carbon dioxide water vapor heat and light so this is what rapid oxidation is in which it works fast and it gives some reaction out of it next is slow oxidation it is same uh, the name only suggests that the work is going on in a slow process and the energy is really slowly uh, slowly and slowly the biggest example or experiment can you do is uh, see 
do and see is rusting if you put an iron particle into the air it will not uh, be the next day that it is being rusted uh, there is reddish color on it for this it requires uh, quite some time to change uh, change its um, uh, changing is the wrong word to um, form the reaction and uh, rusting starts on that object when the uh, iron particle is coming in contact with the atmospheric oxygen and moisture over a certain period of time a reddish brown type layer of hydrated terric hydro um, hydrated ferric oxide which is also known as rust forms on it and this process of formation is known as rusting this process of forming rust is known as rusting if you want to see you can try in your house put a nail outside and see it will take at least some days to uh, get reddish color so that will prove that it is a slow process of oxidation okay